Now, oh look, oh look. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm facing, hold on. Let me, let me be a model. Let me do the hair thing. We almost had it. So if you're watching this real time, we are all quarantined and everybody's hair looks a little something like this. Unfortunately, we cannot go to the hair salon, so I have got to fix if you need highlights, if you need layers, if you need your hair dyed or your roots fixed, whatever you need. You can't go to the salon, so I'm going to bring the salon to you, which will be perfect. I'll show you how to do it. Um, my girl, Emily Rose, she's really, really good. She works at Love Meraki, which is one of the best places that you can go. They basically take your hair and they make your toner and your highlights, and you can do them at home, but it's salon grade, so it's going to look perfect. It's going to be super easy. I'll film the whole thing, and then if you want to do it too, I'll put the link below um, in the video so that you can get your hair done too. So my hair, if you can see, it's uh, kind of got some red in it. It's super, super dark. The roots are really horrible. I'll show you what's going on here. So I've got roots for a couple inches here, here to here. It's pretty bad, but as you can see, my hair used to be this blonde. It's super ratty right now. Um, we're going to do it up and kind of fix it, but this is the blonde that I need to get back to, but my roots are uh, super, super dark. So I'll show you kind of the back of my hair too. If I, can, if I can, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you guys see it? Am I too, am I too close? Hopefully you saw it. So let's get this hair did. Oh, also, if you're new to my channel, I normally do health and fitness stuff. I'm Maddie Gray. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Um, I do a lot of like at-home workouts, workouts at the gym too when we're not quarantined, and some stuff about how to lose weight, some fitness tips, um, different kinds of like recipes, things like that. So subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more. If you like videos like this, comment below and let me know if you want to do any like skincare, hair stuff, um, like self-care, anything of that nature. I could do those as well. So just drop a comment below, let me know what you want to see during quarantine, and uh, let's go fix my hair. Take down and emotions feel like I never did before. Life shows him so this is what it looks like for kind of the unboxing. Oh, another tip if you're um, quarantined. These are the pop-on stick-on nails. My SNS came off. I got these at Walgreens for like $5. Super cute. Um, so she says basically, hey Maddie, I'm trying to make this easy for you. So she's telling me all the steps. This is what we'll do. This is what you get. Let's see here. So here's our little mixing bowl. Okay, awesome. There's that. Okay, super easy stuff. All you have is your gloves, A, B, C, and D, and then your mixing bowl with your little Redken uh, mixer. So super easy. It looks like you're gonna mix all of these together in the bowl. You section your hair out into four quadrants, um, and then you basically just apply the color to the roots, and it says to use the thin see-through sections. Um, and then you just let it process for about 40 minutes and you're good to go. So here are the directions again in case you need to see them. You can kind of screenshot this. I'm sure it'll be the same for you. And I'm sure she'll put the instructions on your box as well. So it looks like we can just kind of mix all these together at once. So let's get started. So I'm pretty confident this is not what she means by four sections, but I do have four sections and these parts are like really super dark. Um, I put this one in a little bun because I'm going to do this one first. <laughs> so um, I don't even know how well I can film the actual dyeing my hair part because I need gloves. So I might have to fast forward through that part. We'll see. But I think that she means to like do the four layers on the four layers of your head, not actually split it in four ways. But I'll keep you updated and let you know how, uh, how mine turns out. We're going to start with this one first. So we'll see. Spoken <laughs> real, saw the movie I ignored. Oh, look at that blonde. This is going to be kind of like an ashy blonde, I believe, is what she said we did last time. Um, sometimes I've had like a golden blonde and like a honey blonde, but I think that this one, it has some sort of like 
ashy toner to it, I believe. Makes it a little bit lighter for the summer. So we'll see. I've got high hopes. This is already looking really good. This looks very professional, a lot better than those box hair dyes, which by the way, I've done one of those box hair dyes before and it was an absolute nightmare. So if y'all want me to upload that, I've got the whole process of me box dyeing my hair and how terrible it was and Emily Rose literally fixing it. And um, it's harder than you think. I basically bleached out all my hair. So I can upload that one for y'all too. That one's, it's quite the watch. So I'm no expert. I'm just waiting for this consistency to all kind of be the same. Every once in a while when I flip it, I'll get like a little clear part. So I'm kind of basically just like whisking it like an egg, making sure that it's all the same consistency and all the same color before I put it on my hair. I don't know. Can you put so it the same as an egg? Probably. I'm just going to keep mixing until I'm confident that, that this is right. <laughs> All right, I'm about to do my first little piece, this guy up here. So I'm just gonna leave this running and hopefully it uh, catches everything on camera. <laughs> she said see-through sections, so like really, really small. Maybe, maybe this is a see-through section? Take down and emotions feel like I never did before. Live shows in the spoken real saw the movie I ignored Blue sky sound a broken sea and I'm stuck up on the shore I never thought you could see me but you did All I know is we're here This is kind of what I've been counting as a see-through section Just putting it on that dark root part Okay, I just realized I forgot about the gloves. Don't forget about the gloves. Put the gloves on. We're, we're doing good. We're making progress. Put the gloves on. Okay, so I already know my results are not going to be as good as they should be because I just ran out of patience with all the see-through parts. I couldn't do it. And I ended up just kind of taking this brush and brushing my hair with it. This is not what you're supposed to do. This is how how not to. But the product is salon grade and really great. So we'll see if this can um, can turn out normally. Also, I can't see the back of my head, which I try to turn and and, uh, and see the camera, and it, it really it doesn't work. I will say though, this part is really great for separating hair. The back of the brush separates hair really really well. I'll also say I tried to be. Um, kind of conservative with the amount that I used and I have a ton left and I'm halfway done with all of my hair. I have thin hair, but I feel like I should put on more. That's another reason why I'm kind of just like brushing my hair with it at this point. <laughs> Pray for me. You know what I just realized is that I get highlights from this woman. She does not dye my head, but my whole head has the dye in it, like all of my roots. That's not what we did though. My whole, my whole head is wet. I, I just, I painted too much. I really like painting and it was kind of fun. And I just, it's, <sighs> I did the see-through parts for a while and then I just basically dipped my head in the bowl. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna wait like 40 minutes for it to settle in. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna show you all the products that I use. Super high quality, salon grade, but very affordable though. You'd be surprised. Um, these are the only products that I use because I'm just obsessed with Meraki, so I'll show you those. Okay, so the first thing you should know about these products is that they're all vegan and cruelty-free. This first one is the Untamed Texture Spray, and I really just use it like all the time. Anytime I'm going out or like, like out on the town, like I'm gonna do my hair, I might wanna bounce to it, a little bit of wave. Anytime I need extra fullness, body, or volume really, it just provides a really good shape and texture, and it kinda keeps the natural movement of my hair, so it's not too like, you know when you spray hairspray on and it gets all super stiff? This one does not do that. So you've got all the volume and the body, but your hair still kind of moves in a natural way. I use the volumizing shampoo and that one's specific to me for volume. <laughs> 
<laughs> because I have thin hair, but I know that they have fortifying ones as well, and they have different ones for different hair types. I kind of like this one because it's more of like a weightless volume. Like I said, some of these products I can feel in my hair, and they're thick and weigh me down, and they're kind of stiff. But this one is more about the vitamins and um, nutrients that's in the actual shampoo itself. So it's got Pro Vitamin B5, which basically strengthens your hair. Um, and it makes it pretty shiny too. So it's safe for all kinds of hair, for colored hair, chemically treated hair, highlighted hair, whatever you do to your hair. This one is good. Um, all these products are paraben free and sulfate free. And they're pretty much all color safe too. So that's another reason why I like this line. Okay, if we're being totally honest, I use the vitamin mist because it smells bomb. It literally smells so good. So I'll put it on my hair like if anybody comes over or like if I'm having company, if we're doing like a girl's night or if I'm going out. I put this one on like literally all the time. Anytime I'm going to see somebody, it makes your hair smell so, so good. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a leave-in conditioner but it's not though because there's no weight to it so it's more of like a super light mist um it's supposed to strengthen your hair and it's got like horsetail extract that makes it really shiny i think i know it's got some aloe in there i know i read that it had like green tea in there too when i got it um it's really good if you like straighten your hair you curl your hair um, all these products, they're just, they're super safe and they were made for you. So they're really looking out for you and your hair. They weren't tested on animals. And so this is just, it's an awesome line. It smells great. It's super light. It makes me feel good. Um, my hair feels great when I run my hands through it. This is just, it's the only line that I'll ever use. I love the Meraki line. So this just in, other people that are doing just roots, highlights, things like that, they may have 40 minutes or a longer time or just do the roots. For my hair, because I, I had damaged my hair before, so I'm kind of a weird situation, but this is toner for all of my hair. So I'm leaving it in all of my hair for about 15 minutes. I'm not doing just the roots for 40, which is originally what I thought that maybe I was supposed to do, but actually I'm putting it in all of my hair for about 15 minutes to get back to the color that I want to get. So this will actually be way easier. So now it's in all of my hair. Hair. I'm only gonna wait a few more minutes because I feel like this process has been long and it's been in my hair for a long time so I'll probably rinse it out soon and then I'll show you the results Ta-da! so this looks perfect um, my ends are still really ratty because I'm scared to cut them but the color is really pretty super blonde I actually laid out and I put some Sun in and some lemon juice in my hair earlier so it's even blonder than what it was right after the treatment um, or toner, whatever it's called. So as you can see, I've still got some of my roots a little bit, but it's way, way, way blonder than it was before. Um, I'll try to show you like from a distance what my hair looks like. This is kind of outside in a more natural way. You can see that my hair is lighter at the top. Um, it's not bleached or anything, but it's definitely a lot lighter than it was my roots are not as bad so um the overall color is a lot prettier i think and it's got more highlights in it now oh look oh look <laughs> oh wait no i'm facing hold on let me let me be a model let me do the hair thing we almost had it it didn't work but we almost we almost had the model hair blow that would have been really cool well oh well so my hair is lighter. You can kind of see where I put the sun in in my hair a little bit. It kind of turns my hair orange because I'm a natural redhead. Um, but I still like it. I think it looks really good. I like the, the light color. Um, and I like that my roots aren't so horrible. <laughs> the color I'm blind for all my life And they kept painting rainbows I'm color blind It's black and white It seems it will remain And you've been Blind for all your life, it's scared to even say so. We're color blind, it's black and white. It seems so well we made so. super happy with the results it's way lighter it's a way better color um, I love the tone I love the little ashiness about it I think it's really gorgeous um, this is exactly what I wanted if you want something similar I'll put all the description or all the information in the description below I'll put kind of 
I'll put her name, um, all the products, the little color box that you can get, and uh, her contact. And so you can get one for you. You can do your hair during quarantine. You can fix your roots, do a little highlights, whatever you need done. Um, just contact her and she'll fix you up during our little stay at home quarantine time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.